What's going on guys? Welcome to a new tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to find a really tricky and hard to find value in Game Guardian. So I'm sure you're familiar with uh, all these tips and tricks that you acquire from researching on Google and viewing YouTube videos that Oh, uh, you're supposed to use the auto, not just the word and float and try the encrypted search, broaden your choice of uh, memory ranges, you know, like choose more memory ranges, etc. And let's say you've done all that, you, can, you still can't find that sucker, you know. So what do you do in that case? Well, I'm going to share my method and technique with you guys. Okay, so if you've already done the, uh, you've already established that you can't find it, uh, you know, as a, um, as an encrypted value, then you no longer need to worry about that. That's just gonna slow down your search unnecessarily, you know, like without any, any uh, benefit. So now with regards to the memory ranges, you'll have to explore and you know play around with that. That'll depend on your game. Okay, for me, I know that's what I need to have for this game. Okay, so so we go over here. I like to use keyword, okay, instead of D word. It looks identical in terms of the the format or the structure, but um, you'll see it gives you kind of a cleaner uh, list of results. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go from a million like that use this sign i think it's called tilde and go up to maybe 10 million i don't think you need the commas but i'm just using them to make it look nicer and don't choose encrypted do not choose encrypted you have, you've already assuming you've already tried that and you can't find it as an encrypted value okay then i don't know why it's not easily found but it's definitely not encrypted you'll see okay and you do a search and i'm going to show you what to do and if you are not successful then you bump this up from your your range you bump it up from 10 to 20. again bump up the range from 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 until you find it okay but for me because i don't want to make this uh overly lengthy I'm just going to give you the useful part. So I know that mine lies, whoops, I know that my correct value lies somewhere in this range, 80 million till the 85 million. Okay, let's run a search. Okay, we got these 3,431 results. Now, don't modify all of them at once because you'll most likely crash the game if you do that you know this is the part that it's kind of uh, tedious i like to specify half of these so it was 3400 so that's this should be close enough maybe 1700 like that okay you can see i've already been messing with this so don't pay attention to that okay so select these we're selecting 1700 results you can see up here on the right 1700 out of the 3431 and go to edit them and don't replace the value what you want to do is you want to use the smallest possible value and just add to value because when you add instead of replace you cut down the chances of crashing the game because that, that's kind of invasive or aggressive you know so let's do that and let's go and check out what happened whoops look at this it was 220 and now it became 221 so in this case i was lucky but if you weren't as quickly lucky as i was what you would do then is you would go whoops you would go here and you would remove revert and remove those and just repeat the process okay but because i found it i'm just going to revert I'm not going to remove them. So when you find it, now you want to revert them and you want to narrow this 1700 down. You want to further narrow it down and split it in half. So this is going to be, um, I think, 850. Okay, and then just repeat the process. Put a one and, and take a look at what happened. Okay, it's still there. 
so I still have the I still have it in here the value so I'm gonna revert and I'm gonna narrow this down further so this is gonna be 425 when I split it in half and just repeat the process okay the one is gone we're back to 220 it's no longer 221 so now I'm going to delete these. I'm going to revert and remove those because I don't need them. And now I know it's in these 425. So now since I know for sure that it's, it's in these 425, I can split this in half. Okay, so this is an odd number. You can't split it uh, exactly in half. So we're going to assume that this is a 426 and I'm going to put a 213 here. This is close enough. So go ahead and do this one add. OK, here it is again, the 221. OK, so now we can just revert, split this in half. I'm going to assume it's 214, so I'm going to make it 107 and repeat the process. Okay, here it is again. So I'm just going to revert. I'm going to assume this is 108. I'm going to make it 54. And let's take a look. Yeah, you can see when I revert, it goes back to 220. Okay, so let's try it again. Whoops, add the value. Okay, here it comes again. So revert, split this in half. This is going to be 27. Do it again. And as you can see, I haven't crashed the game so far. OK, here it comes again. Revert, split this in half, make it a 28 just to be close enough. So it'll be a 14. And we'll do this. OK, it's gone, so I can delete those. And now I know it's in here, so I'm going to split these in half. Here it comes again. Okay, so I'm going to revert. Assume these are 8. Well, yeah, so that'll make it a 4. So I know for sure it's one of these 4 here, you know. So let's check it out. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not. So we're going to delete these, and it's going to be in these right here yep here it goes so we're gonna revert and uh, we can do these you know like two at a time it's okay you know let's just do it like that it's quicker okay we don't need these two so I know it's one of these two right here I'm gonna save them these two we can just revert we don't care about them okay so let's work with these two so let's try this. Okay, so it's definitely this one right here. Okay, so this one we could just uh, revert and remove. And this one we could just put like a 9 here maybe. And here it is. The value has been hacked. I hope you have in one way or another found this helpful and learned something new from it and can apply it to your desired game. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.